Hello and welcome to Thursday evening. I had to think then about what day it was, um, but I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. So we'll go with that. We are logging in today to see what has been added in since yesterday's uh, Wednesday content and see what we've got today. Hopefully, obviously yesterday we had the new team of the week. So today we should have at least a player SPC. Probably not a player objective. That will be, probably be saved till Friday for the new content. Um, but hopefully in evolution. We'll see what we've got. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, right. Starting off with objectives and all that jazz. We're 450 away from level 33, which is an 85 by 5. SC Pro stuff is continuing as expected, as scheduled in. Um, we've got Galatza going on there. We've got Galatza Daily Play, obviously, as well. We haven't got the Daily Play completionist because that will have been completed if you've managed every day so far. Um, and Seasonal gives us new weekly objectives, but also the refreshed daily objectives as well. There is nothing going on in Milestones, and therefore there'll be nothing going on in Foundations as well. Right, uh, let's refresh our transfers and then we'll go to the store, we'll go to uh, moments, we'll go to evolutions, all that kind of jazz. And see what we've got going on. Hopefully we've got the 84 by 7 still because that gives us our best chance of getting something special in the packs. and see what we have. Right. Store access, there we go, slow today. Um... To be honest, they are the normal packs now. They are regular things there. We also have all of these normal things. Nothing actually worth getting. All just trying to tempt you into buying stuff that you can just get by playing the game. Obviously, they're not exactly the same packs you can get by playing the game. But EA just trying to tempt people to spend money. Uh, those are the throwback kits that we've seen. They've been there for a while now. So let's go to Moments. Let's see, we probably won't have anything new there. They have pretty much neglected. Yeah, we've got another lot there. I've missed the last two, to be honest. It's, you can get the same amount of uh, reward by playing um, the um, by playing the menus, basically. The, these have basically been outpaced by all the other content in the game. When they brought out the 83x10s, the 84x5s and 7s and whatnot, it just means that the other stuff is less valuable. And the moments they haven't... Oh, we've got no evolutions today either. With the moments, they just haven't brought everything up to level with the rest of it. So it's just not... It's just got less and less important, less and less people doing it, less engagement, so they've stopped updating it, basically, apart from that one thing every now and again. So, new players. We have still got hudson Adoy, we've still got Vinicius, still got um, Awaran, we've still got Verts, still got Kadogbia. Now, these are new. Showdowns are back. So, we've got a Sebastian Haller for Angus Knees. Sebastian Haller for Borussia Dortmund. He is a striker. And he needs an engine, judging by this card. That dri dri dribbling, balance and agility all need a boost to make him more mobile and um, silky on the ball than he already is. He's obviously very good in the air. Good jumping, good heading, good strength. And two aerial play styles, as well as power shot plus. An acrobatic Play style, first touch, flare, ping, pass, tick of tacker, etc. That strong attacking positioning, the good shooting means that you don't have to worry about that element of his game. It does need an engine, and that's what it would get. Striker has heads to forward, 6 foot 3, 89 rated, and they are playing Augsburg in the VBL Grand Final matchup. There we go. So this is Augsburg. This is Frederick Jensen. Four star, four star for a, a six foot cam. Right mid and left mid as well. Okay, yeah, he's he's still decent, but he's not as good as the Haller card, really. Power shot plus and ping pass plus. Technical flare, first touch and bruiser. But that Halakard is just just a step better, in my opinion. 
I wouldn't know what to put on this. The dribbling's already really good. Maybe a hawk on this. Maybe like a marksman if you want to touch the dribbling a bit. But yeah, I'd imagine the Halakard is more expensive. It's a striker. They're more likely to win. Um, but let's have a look. So they're both one segments. This is an 83 with a team of the week. That's so cheap. So cheap. And then Augsburg, the one card, is probably going to be an 82. 81 with a team of the week. Both of those are worth doing. Because whoever wins still got a new 89 card that you can get rid of or keep or upgrade or whatever you want to do. Then we've got Alexandro. Oh, wait a minute. Those pictures that are all the way around. That's Caputo. And that's Sandro. Well done, EA. Good work. That's the Jensen. We'll just get a picture of that. The Alexandro, which clearly isn't Sandro, because it's got... It literally says... It literally says Caputo there. Showdown Caputo untradeable. He is an 88-rated striker. He's pretty good. Not, not, no obvious weak points. Unless you want him taking your free kicks, which you probably don't. He's an Empoli. Five-star weak foot. He's got Tick Attacker plus. Finesse Shot plus. Rapid, technical, incisive. Um, power Shot and a Heading card as uh, heading play style as well that's going to be just as cheap as the other ones isn't it they're all one segment and probably all one segment for a reason this uh, alexandro is it's still probably the best of them without even being that great obviously with an upgrade would be um, a few points better in all the departments that matter and some of the ones that don't as well but yeah, jockey plus rapid, first touch, slide tackle, whip pass, and power shot. With an engine, sorry, not an engine, with an anchor. It's a very solid card. And centre back, and centre back with 90 pace. Centre back, you could, well, anchor or shadow would be quite happy on him. That's. That's brought an interesting thing to it. An interesting tinge to him as a centre-back there. 5'11", still the tallest. His jumping's still pretty good. You'd, you'd have to toss up whether you would play him at centre-back or would play him at full-back. He's undoubtedly going to be more expensive. 87? Oh, wait. Is that Sandro or is that Caputo then, does it mean? Wait, is the Caputo one going to be cheap now? And do we do it straight away to take advantage of this? 85 for the Sandro over 87 for the Caputo. Wait, that this is weird. There's only one way to find out. We do this. And then if we get the Caputo card, we get the Caputo card. We'll just, we'll just take the chance and see what happens. It was an 85, so we'll put some of these in, then we'll get a couple of other cards. Oops, no. Right, how are we? 86. No, we're smack on. We'll do that. We'll put an Oberdorf instead of... Oops. Put Oberdorf instead of Sun, I meant to do there. So, this is Caputo. It's got Sandro here. And then it says Caputo there. So I think I've got a feeling it's going to be Caputo. And I won the Alexandro. So I think that's the wrong one. But to be honest, we're going to do both, so I might as well just get it and see what happens. This is definitely just good. Wait a minute. That's got Alexandro there. It says showdown Alexandro, but it's got Caputo there. So we're going to take it and see what happens. It says Caputo completed. He's giving me the Alexandro card. So that's messed up. The Sandro to me is the better card of the two. 
So I'm taking that quite happily. They've messed something up with that. But we will take it. It does make sense that the strikers were expensive as an 87 rather than 85. But you would expect Juventus to win. Oh, it's E-Series. Ugh. Okay, so it's decided about eSports rather than actually online. But I've taken a Sandro, so it is what it is now. And we also have a Hit, Hitoshi Nikita, Nakata, sorry, hero card. 60 days on him. He's going to be a decent card. Finesse shot plus, chip shot, incisive pass, ping pass, long ball pass, dead ball, press proven, and quick step. Spend most of his time. Wait, okay. I don't. I remember him from Parma, and I remember him from Roma. But and a little bit of Bolton, to be honest. It just seems with that career path, it seems like a weird choice for a hero, to be honest. But it is what it is. He's got Serie A hero status. Um. The dribbling is really good. It's all in the 90s. The passing is lovely and all high rated. Shooting is pretty good. Um, stamina and physicals as well. 90 overall for him is decent. Annex centre midfield as well as the cam. Five star week for high medium work rates. How much is this card going to be? 87 is reasonable for a 90 rated hero. Is he going to fit in your first team? Possibly not. Is he going to be a useful sub, useful option, just in case? Yes. Is it nice to get a hero? Yes. Then what else do we have in upgrades? We've got hero packs. We did the icon pack yesterday. Player pick, team of the week, 87 by. We'll do this straight away. Get this out of the way. 83 rated squad with... Um, who on earth do I want to put in here? We'll put Pajuri because I've got a better option. Um, and then we need some 82 slash 83 rated cards. We'll put a low one in because of the the rating of the, of the inform. Um, 82, 81, 80. 84. 81, then a couple on the bench. Um, where are we going? Here we go. Right, that should give us scope to complete that. Him as well, why not? Right, so we need to up it a couple. Let's do 79. Please tell me. Oh. <laughs> Last couple of ones I've done have literally just been one off. So you just do one upgrade and it's instantly the right um, ratings. But that one was not. Um, 83 for Otavio. Marshall for an 82. There we go. That does that. With the informs raising up to 87 as the minimum in this team of the week, it makes the requirements for the rest of the squad that little bit lower. So it does help. Just get them done. Um, plus, it means you can put them in the exchange. If you get a duplicate 87, it goes in the exchange. It's fine. It's not a problem. We've got the normal stuff here. Normal stuff here. Normal stuff here. Nothing new. Obviously, the ones that, that, that haven't looked like they've repeated, they're over here. And they will refresh in 43, 42 minutes. So, that's there now. As well as... Oh, marking matchups are new today. Uh, and we'll get this... Oh, this Galazzo Flash Challenge is not going to come back. Okay. So we've got Jumbo Premium Gold players for a Portuguese League squad, a French League squad, a Serie A slash Italy, Italian League squad, and Premier League with two English players as well. Rare Mixed Players Pack, Small Rare Gold Players Pack, Sporting, I don't know, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, and then Sporting Portugal Third Kit, and a mixed premium gold pack. Now, eh, the kit's okay. It's not nothing special. It's got Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo reference on the front, as you can see. 
looks okay. We'll have to see what it looks like actually equipped. And then Jumbo Premium Gold players for the end of it. Do we have a new icon today? No, we don't. So yeah, the main thing today, we've got a Hero SPC. We've got Hidotashi Nakata. And then we've got the two SPC showdowns. Haller versus Jensen. Sandro versus Caputo. There is a bit of a mix-up with the Caputo one. But that's fine. For us, anyway. Um, got an 83 plus pixels there as normal. The 88 Hero is still there. 84 by 7 refreshes as normal. And Marky Matchups is there. There's no Evo. No playable stuff today. Just content in the menus so let's end by opening this pack at 84 by 7 and see what we get hopefully we get more than just 7 84 rated cards we do that's a dabala that's a duplicate which means it's go oh no it's not oh yeah because he's stopped being team of the week now but that is a duplicate so we're gonna have to put him into the next upgrade lot we'll see um, what else we have in this pack hiding behind the front cards? There we go. So Dabala, Saka, Heinrich, Hendrik and Zinsberger join the club. And Pulisic, Muller and Torrejan will join into the next SPC. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you clicking on this video. It's always good to see. Um videos getting views it's nice to be honest and there we go i will end the video there thank you very much um thank good luck with your picks with your packs and with your play tonight um i'm off to complete the showdowns with those cheap squads and wonder what's happened with the sandro caputo um upgrades um sandro caputo mix up with the showdowns so yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you this time tomorrow uh when we see whatever new content we've got actually do we have a new splash screen i might as well have a look at that before we end up properly so obviously tomorrow is uh this one tomorrow is the end of the uh promo so there we go no there's no sign of whatever the new promo is they are just saying that this one has 23 hours 39 minutes left so that's not as much information as I wanted, but there you go. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you this time tomorrow again. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.